Good morning. Good morning. It's the joy of zoning with John Hodgman. Why, why am I over here? I must be over. How do I? Is anyone here? Oh yeah, people are coming in. Good morning. I'll say it in the chat. Good morning. Good morning in the chat. It's 9 a.m. on Monday, May the 9th. This is the first episode of season two of The Joy of Streaming with John Hodgman. I'm John Hodgman. If you've been following along, this is my homage to the old Bob Ross show, The Joy of Painting, in which I speak calmly while working, in this case, on a digital canvas called SimCity 2013 in order to build a happy little city by zoning residential, commercial, industrial, putting in some parks, designing some street grids, working on those traffic patterns, generally getting into the flow state for a Monday morning, start a new week, by practicing restraint, as various SimCity hard-headed advisors yell at me, telling me I should care about things that I don't need to care about. Thank you for joining me. We're here this Monday and every Monday in May, working on a new city. In the last two weeks, we were working on a city called Max Fund Drive, Sylvania, in honor of the Max Fund Drive. That's over. Thanks, everybody, so much for your support. We had a really, really fun and successful Max Fund Drive. Uh, and as a result of your support, we blew past that goal of 15,000 new and upgrading members on Friday. I don't know where we are now, but many thousands more after that, a couple at least. Thanks to your generosity, Max Fund continues for another year. This grand experiment. If you were unable to chip in this year, I get it. We got a lot of things going coming at us for money right now. A lot of good causes to donate to and a lot of expensive food and gas to pay for. So I completely understand. Thanks. For being along for the ride. I'm very happy to offer you this as a thank you for your support, be it financial or emotional. Um, Also because I love to do it. So uh, let's see who's in the chat. See quite a few people here. I remember from last week, you can tell everyone to join us if you want. I had a little bit of bedhead this morning, as you can tell. My cowlick's coming up. Hard to fix in a reverse mirror, right? Uh, I gotta look here. There we go. Uh, come over there. I overslept. Little Hachi overslept. I woke up a little later than I meant to. I had to quickly write my New York Times column for the week, and now I'm joining you. So let's get into it, shall we? What we want to see is the city. When last we met. Deciding which here's Max Fund Drive, Sylvania, which city in the in the region we're going to develop. Kate Littleton was very intent that we should go over here to Clearwater because it's um, got more usable land than the big curve around Trinity Point. I also think maybe Kate might be a big fan of Clearwater. A city in Florida. Maybe that's what you're pushing on me. In any case, I'm going to do it. But that doesn't mean I'm going to do everything that Kate wants. I'm going to do everything I want. But before I do, let's check in with Max Fund Drive Sylvania, not only to see our wonderful progress, but also I'm going to give, this is the benefit of starting a new city in the same region. We get a little boost. Not only do we get 
the benefit of all of the city hall modules that we added in our original city. In other words, boom, we already have access to building universities and high schools. Boom, we already have access to building sewage treatment plants. But boom, also we can give give our other city some of our money. Max from Drive Sylvania is looking good. You remember this from last week? We got rid of that university, so I want to build a new university from there for the next region. And we made a little nice little tourism city. We have a big band over here, the Globe Theater. Schedule an event there. We're making a tidy little profit. And much to my surprise, Kate, and probably honestly to yours, our, our mega towers are doing quite well. Oh, well, maybe not as well as I thought. I don't even remember this mega tower. Where are we here? What's your problem? Oh, I guess I just built it. I was showing our friend David Reese a little bit of the city and I added some some towers, some levels to our towers. But today we're not all about Maxwell Drive, Sylvania, but our new city over in Clearwater, which I have not claimed. Oh, doing okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send Clearwater some simoleons. And I'm gonna select this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and give them us 670,000 simoleons. Leaving Maxwell Drive, Sylvania with a, the cool two mil and change. I don't really have any excess other stuff to gift, nor do I want to. Simoleon gift sent to JKH in Clearwater. Let's go ahead now and go over to Clearwater and start going, getting to work. Oh, Kate. Now the student has become the master. <laughs> you forgot that you could send money. Yeah, you can send money to other cities. Uh, you know what? I asked uh, David Reese if John Kimball would like that skyline, and I didn't get an answer. I'm gonna uh, before we go today. I'll take a picture and I'll I'll text. I'll text John. I have a picture of it. I'll text it to him. But let's get to work at our city, shall we? I'm gonna pause it. I don't need time to be passing while this happens. We have a. A nice square city, we lose a certain amount here to uh, what you call ocean, or as they say down in South Jersey and Philadelphia, ocean, ocean city. And we've got a railroad over here. In fact, you can see a frozen train right there. Look at that. Look at that little beauty. About to glide through all those little happy trees. Which way is he going? What? Where are you going, buddy? Only one way to find out. What do you think in the chat, left or right? I think he's gonna go left. Wrong, right. Oh well. You can't get them all right. <laughs> This game has been instrumental in helping me learn to deal with my mistakes. So what's good about this city here is... The game recommended that I make a trade hub. Let's just start, just start sketching. And I'm going to do that. And one thing I learned during my practice sessions over the weekend on my practice cities is that you you don't you want to keep 
your trade centers right near as near to your road out as possible you don't want them hunting all over when those trucks come to take away your things but what can I trade because you look here we don't have any coal we don't have any ore we don't have any oil how do I build a trade hub here well the answer is to build a thriving a thriving city with educated medium to high wealth sims who want to recycle then they're gonna off gas a bunch of alloy and plastic which I can then turn into my beloved processors so the first thing we want to do is we want to build a city of relative affluence so that's going to mean using some of my simoleons to develop parkland very early and also we might mess around with an academy which we didn't do last time but as always, we want to first see where the wind blows. I seem to recall that the wind in this area is not particularly blowy, if you know what I mean. But it travels from the roads to the sea, which kind of makes sense. Take out that wind down. I'm going to start today by drawing some roads. I'm going to start with some medium density streets. I know that you want me to draw there. I'm going to draw a little bit out first. Give me some room to build behind this road here. Maybe I'll just extend this avenue a little bit just to make this a little bit more elegant. Let's do this avenue all the way down. Here we go. Bam. Let's go ahead and do that. That looks nice. Now the grid wants me to draw here, but I discovered that doesn't leave a lot of room back here. So I'm going to start taking my medium density streets and building them a little further up. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build them up just about, let's see where a, interesting to right? to there, let's see, mark that. Right there, if I can remember my spot. I think I can. What I was doing there was. That's probably too much space, right? Let's see what happens. I was using a bottom layer. Yeah, see, I built it too, too far away. I, I misjudged. It's hard to remember. But now I do. Okay, you make mistakes. Take that guy out to there. I'm using the bottom level of a mega tower to invest uh, to sort of map out what's the largest block I can make, and that's it. Right? I want my blocks to basically look that large, and then I can subdivide them, which I aim, I aim to do. So, see, the problem is that. You know, they give you a grid that they suggest you draw to, but it's not always the right one. So I want to start, I'm not sure if you can see this, but where the edge of this, I move up close. Come here. Mega Tower, stop jumping. It's not cool. It's not zony. I want to draw right through, I can't show you, but 
there we go, right through the second guy here, right? Drawing your roads is kind of an art form. I mean, you're obviously you're creating the circulatory system of your city. Like that. Now, guess what? If I put this here, I bet you I can't fit that mega tower in, and I made a mistake. Right, I can't. It's okay. Once again, I'm just gonna make a little adjustment here. There's competing ideas about whether you should be drawing roads along the edge of your city or not. This time I'm gonna go ahead and do it and see what happens. that medium density road again. And we'll bring it out a little bit this way. And we'll bring it there. That feels pretty good, don't you think? Let's try putting a mega tower in there. Does that fit? It'll fit pretty nicely. Actually with a little room to spare. So it's not perfect. But I'm not gonna let enemy be the enemy be the perfect of good. This is an interesting question. First of all, yes, we are starting a new city today. It's season two of, of Joy of Zoning. Every Monday in May. But this city is in the same region as Max Fun Drive, Sylvania. We've actually taken about 700, excuse me, 650,000 of their simoleons to start. Does the size of these blocks work with all width of roads? Well, it's funny you should mention it because when I was doing my practice, over the weekend to bring you all the best possible experience, and also because I enjoy it. I discovered that actually if you are building um, avenues, they're thicker, and indeed you can't fit. I wouldn't, if, if this box that I just built for you right here was all avenues, I don't think I would be able to fit that mega tower in there, but let's not worry about that right now. What we want to do is create a grid Start to create a grid. Uh, I'm going to build the grid and stop, stop it, stop auto, yeah, that auto scroll. It's okay. Oops, I'm doing medium density, right? And I'm not going to mess around with avenues much more because pretty soon we're going to be getting to maglev which is easier to place than streetcars. You need to have um, you need to have streetcars, excuse me, you need to have avenues in order to place streetcars. Now I've ideally no, see that's too small. necessarily follow their guidelines. Zoom out a little bit because I want to mimic that. Medium density. The avenues are expensive to build, expensive to upgrade. right? It's a little short to me, but it might be just right. I'll try to make it. It feels about even, right? Let's see. It feels about the same, doesn't it? It's not perfect, but it's not inelegant. And generally speaking, I'm more into elegance than perfection. How does that sound? Does that make sense? That's what I'm aiming for. Now, if I block that off, it's probably too small. Or do you think that's right? 
Maybe if we change our point of view, we'll be able to see a little bit better. Avoid that forced perspective giving us the wrong perspective. Even the Mega Tower can fit in there. Tell you what, I'm not going to find, I'm not going to spend $2,000 to find out. Put that in there. And follow the guidelines. I'll try following the rules. Let's see, old John Hodgman way. Don't trust your instincts, follow the rules. Look, it fits in there. So that's good. Let me follow that pattern then. Follow that pattern all the way up. I'll upgrade that road in a second. Very satisfying. I did say that I was going to encircle my city. I'll deal with that later. Now, I'm going to follow this guy all the way up, link. And we're going to follow the same pattern. I like grids, y'all. I cannot lie. It's just the most efficient way to do it. And now I can upgrade that little dirt road. Happy little road. Oh, no, let's leave it medium density. Matchy matchy, I'll upgrade them all eventually. What do you think, Kang? That looks pretty nice. Do I have room to, I mean, not that I'm going to throw Mega Towers everywhere here, okay, but there isn't room there anyway. These don't exactly match, but you know what those little strips of land can do, they're good for putting in little strips of park that people will enjoy. Well, the idea, the idea, Kate, is the Mega Tower template for me marks out pretty much the biggest blocks you need. Now, some industrial blocks need to be bigger, right? Um, and many residential blocks do need to be much smaller. But the Mega Tower block is, I think, a basic building block that works as a good subdivision. To answer your question. What have I learned from doing this a second time around? Well, it's a, you know, it's a practice of constant self-perfection. It's meditative and it's learning. I learned that you need yesterday, you cannot go too long without mass transit because especially if you're doing a trade city, the road to getting into your city from the global market becomes backed up the highway. It was a mess. So we'll be, definitely be messing around with some tra mass transit first. In fact, we're going to start working down the board now. Thanks for the question. So let's zoom out. I guess we're as zoomed out as we can be. Right? We've got a template for expansion. And before we start building our little city, Going to do the best I can to definitely like that diagonal. So I'm just gonna knock off the end of this little boulevard here. Connects these guys at the edge. And see if I can run this, this boulevard down to the end. There we go. That looks nice. That looks pretty nice. You know what? I don't hate it. I do not hate it. 
So since we're going to do a trade city here, I'm going to leave this area open from a trade ports. And since the wind blows, oh, which way does the wind blow? Let's check on that. Nope. Straight out down that way. So I'm going to put a little bit of industrial down here. Oh, we have to start. Start the clock. City founding has been approved. So I'm going to put a little bit of industrial down here. Oops, you know what? I forgot something. Pause. I, was... I will do what I said. Joy of zoning must be must be enjoyed. Um, let's see here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. An even number. Right? But we're gonna knock this off. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. This would be the center of town right here, wouldn't it? Right? The center of town. So I'm going to make these residential zones smaller. As well as the commercial zones. I'm just going to bisect them like this. Boink. Boink. Here too, blink. Plop. 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 Okay. I'm going to save this for some essential services, city services, fire, etc. Now, I've zoned, so people are going to, oh, I haven't zoned yet. Before I zone, I'm going to check the water table. So this is going to be a really good spot for my water processing plant. Yep, you see these guys are going, we need power. We need power over here. Should I mess around with some solar power? don't want to mess around with any nuclear power. Solar power needs a big block, as you can see. If we do the wind power, you know, there's not a lot of wind. There's low-key no wind. up our grid. We'll get our beautiful, beautiful grid. Unless I decide to make a big solar field. Should I do it? Which is the cost? Wind is still coal is expensive. Solar is expensive to build. 8 milliwatts per peak hours, 3 milliwatts in 10 cents. I feel, I feel like I'm messing around for no reason here. I want to do it, and I'm going to do it. That's just the way it's going to happen. So I'm going to build out my grid. I'm going to build a solar array out here. I'll just build around it. I know how much you want water, everybody. Luckily, I have all these simoleons from my neighbors. So I can just plop this here. 
and we're going to be good for water for a good, good long time. Is the grid big enough? Probably isn't. Probably I've looked like a dope this whole time. Where is that water again? That's right there. Go ahead and build this street out this way and we'll just see. Where can we fit our water in? It can't go that way, but it can go this way. So this will be a wider block over here. There's our water station. Here comes a solar array. So, you know, we are starting new, but we are getting a big, fresh start, aren't we? All that water in there, we have to keep. I'm going to reserve that for water use, because we're going to use a lot of water. I'm still going to put this solar array in the corner. Everybody put solely in a corner. Actually, I'm not going to put it all the way over in that corner because I, um, I'd i rather just make a big block here and leave this for water if I need it. Water is a precious resource. It's something you overlook because you think people just want to be drinking the water. And the reality is Industrial buildings really need it too. All right, we're doing something here. We're doing something, aren't we? Now we want to build in our sewage treatment, and our garbage dump next. And we want to save a lot of room for recycling. We want to keep our sewage and our garbage downwind. Perhaps not so obviously. We can go ahead and zone some residential now, actually. Let's say... I don't know. For me, shopping always feels like a middle of the town thing. But we want to make sure that they have access to shopping. And now we can go ahead and four, five, six, I don't know. How to do twelve. I want to do six of each. I think this balance is going to be good. I think maybe these people in here are going to complain about not getting enough shopping, but let's not worry about that right now. And you see how small these guys are. So I can make a little bit more industrial in there. Do another couple of shops over here. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? I was experimenting with do diff doing different wealth levels. Like zoning specifically for different wealth levels. And I think ultimately the center of the city becomes wealthier and the exterior of the city becomes less wealthy. So this would be low wealth, these four blocks or these six, medium wealth here, excuse me, medium wealth, high wealth, or medium wealth over here because they're near um, See, I can never really quite figure it out to plan it. And our city is underway. 
city is underway. Let's take a look as it grows. Speed it up. Oh, don't forget. We're already 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 low on power. No, here it comes. The power is coming online now. How dare you? I don't want to build an Omega Company factory. Water pumping station is getting power. The water's gonna start pumping. Is it pumping? Yep. Yeah. Petition to build, build a gambling house has been approved. Factories are rising. And a petition to build a town hall has been approved, everybody. Town hall right in the middle of town where it belongs. Here we go. And now we can name our city. What do you think, everybody? What should the name of the city be? Our other city in the region is Max von Drive, Sylvania. I'm going to keep it Clearwater for now because it has a certain charm for me. Zonetopia. It's pretty good, Chip. Well, we're populating this city now. Let me just bring it down to. I'm going to remove the spanner so you can see what's happening in my financial situation. We, we're profitable here in our budget panel. We should raise taxes immediately. They don't know what they don't know any different. They'll complain eventually. But 11 is a good tax rate. Zoningham, Dicktown, you know what? Kate, the guru wins again. Bob Roston, Richardsville. This is gonna be our trade town, if that makes a difference. I think I'll hold on Richardsville. I like Bob Roston, though. Call it that for now. Good one. See our city growing. Seems pretty happy. Shall we look for a dodgy meats go? Lazy Llama Luncheon. East Taurus, Torbell Pizza, Wild Bill's Gas, Zero Biggles. Come on, Dodgy Meats. Getting some orange on the board, of course, because, of course, I did forget to build a sewage plant or a garbage plant. That was my plan. I don't have my plant plans. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Garbage over here by the railroad tracks, too. Right? Garbage dump. 
got plenty of room out here. Uh, I would like to get rid of that wind. Can't see where I'm placing my dump wind. Sorry to be persnickety. Do you know I wrote in a Google Doc today the word persnickitude? And they didn't have a problem with it. Seems elegant, doesn't it? Hang on, y'all. Too close to road. I actually don't want to have too much industrial in this city. Dense, high-tech industrial is fine. Okay, there we go. How'd I do? Yeah, maybe, maybe too well. How much does that cost? Nine thousand? Inelegant. Sorry. I'll do it again. I'll do it over and over again. I don't care. Nine thousand. Well, looks like I was exactly in the right spot for it anyway. See, I apologize, everyone. This is not delightful, but boring. This is the place. Oh, there. Whew. See, draw your roads first. I'm going to kit this out already with a couple of... Incinerators. Okay. And also some garbage trucks, right? Some extra garbage trucks, why not? Cute. Snugged right up there. Where can I snug this guy in? Yep, that's cute. Snugged. Good snugging. I really don't want to build a whole line of dump, you know what I mean? Because then just a giant lizard's going to come and try to eat it. Hey, this road here is basically going to connect us to um, the train. That's why I'm not drawing this out any further, because you'll see if I put a train station in, and I will soon, that's exactly where it's going to go. Right along that line. Dare I do it at an angle like that? Hey, yeah, time does pass. It's 9.44 a.m. I'm very much in a zone state, so I hope you're all entertaining yourselves in the chat there. Let's keep, keep the time flowing so we can move forward here. And let's go ahead and invest in our future. 
We don't want our buildings to burn down, so we want a fire station. Here come the March of the Essential Services. One in each corner, boom. Clinic. Boom. Police. You go over here. I don't want you over there by my city hall. You go face the water station. Maxis Man? Should we get Maxis Man going? It was pretty much of a waste of a time. And Max from Drivesylvania. Let's get a school first. No, I can't resist it. Let's do Maxis Man, for heaven's sake. Oh, that dope. Let him have some fun. Everyone loves Maxis Man. Everyone's so excited. Okay, now may I educate some children? Thank you. Maxis Man took up a spot that the school could have had. Okay. So I'm going to make an executive decision here. This clinic is... What's more expensive? The clinic or the... 20, 20K fire station, 20K. They're the same. So, sorry. That was a waste of a good 40,000 simoleons. But don't worry, we're going to get the fire station back. It's going to snug in right over here perfectly. Actually, I'll snug it in over there. Because this city hall doesn't have to get very big. I don't need to save a lot of room for modules there. And we'll put our clinic right over here. And we'll put our school where it belongs, in the center of our society. And we'll add school bus stops. So far, this seems pretty good, I think. I haven't spent down too much of my initial capital, but I have all of my city services. And what's happening, Dr. Beatnik? Okay. How can I fit in the high school? I can fit in the high school over here. Should we go ahead and do it while I got the cash? I do want this to be an educated city. I like education a lot. Mess up my roads. No, I didn't. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. I just learned I can use the tab bar to cycle through. So let's go back to our not enough shoppers. Don't worry, I'm about to zone some residential Johnny Hard at. Still got plenty of power, still got plenty of water, plenty of sewage coverage, plenty of everything. Everything's good so far. So the easiest and smartest way to make money is to zone. Let's enjoy some joy of zoning. Now with this solar array, I want to see where I can just build it all the way out along here and up along here. So right now I'm not gonna mess with that block. Remember where our big blocks are? They're here, these guys. To make it clear, I'm just gonna go ahead and upgrade these cross blocks to high density streets. The big cross blocks, I mean. Leave those medium densities in the middle. An embezzler from Max Fun Drive, Sylvania has entered the picture. I've never been able to combat embezzlement. Isn't that sad? Alternating here. There we go. Does that make it clearer? Not really. It doesn't really make our big blocks clearer, but Go ahead and upgrade that to high density as well. We'll do it on the other side. Where's my money? We got a zone. Y'all, we got a zone. No fooling. As Jamie had that would say, y'all, we got a zone, y'all. So remember, I'm keeping this area open for the big solar array. Maybe I can fit this one more little patch of sun in there. Once you're drawn in high density, it's hard to stop. What's the point, honestly? Just keep going. Coming up on Brian Lehrer time, 9.54 on a Monday morning. I wish I could play every Monday with you all, but I can't. I've got work to do. I'll be back, back again. Let's zone this up in the meantime. I'll add a little bit more shopping here. And let's see, residential here. residential here and we'll go ahead and make this industrial still who knows what's going to happen there and I don't know residential Do residential here a little more shopping Let's do a little bit more shopping here, too. Commercial, residential, residential. It's a 
an odd pattern, but... You know, that's okay. And I gotta make sure that I expand my school service. Sorry, Kate. This is this will be every Monday in May. Yes, I just meant I wish I could play tomorrow and every weekday in May. But it'll be every Monday in May. Tim True Crime asks, "Wasn't there a terrain editing mod for the original version?" Uh, I've heard so. This is the first time I'd ever done it. What happens if I get the academy? Lighter than air travel options? Yeah, don't worry. We're gonna, we're gonna, this city is gonna be the city of dreams, everybody. But the next thing I need to focus on, of course, aside from getting this basic grid down, getting the, packing as many taxpayers as I can into this joint, is um, gonna be adding trade. I have an upgrade to City Hall. I'll wait till the very last second for that. I'm going to upgrade, add some patient rooms here. better there now. Might as well add a fire truck and a bell. Pull that, that way, thank you. Let's add some classrooms. That's the next thing that Dr. Uh... Oh, look at that population. I love that. Six, 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 six. And we'll add the next thing that happens is jail cells start filling up. And since everything seems to be green across the board or gray, let's see what's going on with Maxis Man, shall we? I can't believe I did this. Slow it down so we can see him come out. We'll follow him around town, see if he saves anybody. Save the injured. Wait, wait, where are you going? Is this him? This looks like him, right? There's a little mini. Yeah, that's Max's man. Going to heal an injured person. I follow you. I do follow you tour of our little city. Whoa, too fast. Too fast, Maxie. Oh, that's pretty nice. Bob Rostin is coming together with some happy little trees. Next Monday, we'll add parks. Upgrade all these roads. We'll add parks to start upgrading our neighborhoods. Upgrading our wealth. And all so that we can get that recycling center. So we can start trading alloy, plastic. Eventually my beloved processors the open market. Do you think he's helping someone now? What are you doing, dude? He's waiting at a light? We got a green. It's green, buddy. Go. I 
can't believe I paid 500 simoleons to Max's man for this. But eventually, we'll have some fun with him. Is he going home now? Just on wild, endless patrol. We also have to add public transportation. All that fun stuff. So let's go ahead now and go celebrate the founding of the city. Or city Hall. Here it is. Upgrade available. Thanks, everybody, for joining us for a Monday, May 9th edition of The Joy of Zoning with John Hodgman. If you're watching this later, thanks for watching this later. My name is John Hodgman. I am the host of Judge John Hodgman on the Maximum Fun Network. I am also the co-creator of Dicktown on Hulu. Why don't you give it a try? Won't you bit.ly slash Dicktown or tell a friend? We surely would like to make more of them. This has been The Joy of Zoning with John Hodgman. I will see you next Monday at 9 a.m. Take care. Bye.